All right, let's unbox the Morocco 3D scanner from RevoPoint. This was $1,600 US or $2,300 Canadian. I bought this with my own money, um, so I can give you a honest review of it. For me, it was between this or the Shining 3D's Einstar 3D scanner. I just didn't like the idea of having to lug around a laptop to every scanning location. I like that this is just a standalone unit with a screen and does the processing on the device. And then I can send that over to my desktop to do some more post-processing. I originally narrated this video live, but like you can hear in that previous clip, there's quite a loud humming noise that I need to figure out on my end. So I'll be voiceovering the rest of this video. The scanner comes in this one main box, and then there are two separate boxes on the inside. One that contains the scanner and most of the accessories, while the other one has a bunch of calibration boards in it. Everything is packed away nicely in this foam, and it doesn't feel like anything's going to be moving around during shipping. And so you start with this little carrying case that has a bunch of the accessories in it such as this turntable that'll turn at varying speeds depending on what you set it to so that you can produce some scans without having to move around the part. You also get this little USB-C power cable for the turntable, a little microfiber cloth for cleaning the scanner, a USB-C to HDMI adapter, A little wrist strap for the scanner so that it doesn't fall on the floor if you let go of it. A little tripod. And that's it for the accessory bag. On the other side we have this little calibration board that you can use for calibrating the scanner on first use followed by this little turntable uh, locating disc that you can put under your parts on the turntable for the scanner to have an easier time finding your part. You also have these little reflective stickers for putting across large flat surfaces, and you have a sheet that you can use potentially for putting on your desk, and then it makes it easier for the scanner to detect the items that are on this sheet. You also get this paperwork, so you have a uh, certificate of QC being passed, and you also get a little quick start guide and a little pamphlet that tells you where to find the apps for the scanner. And then you have this little statue bust that you use for your first scan and for the walkthrough of setting up the scanner. You have a power cable it's a USB-C for the scanner itself. And you have a power brick that is a 65 watt uh, dual USB-C power brick. Finally, we have the scanner itself. It feels pretty good in the hand. It's a little bit lighter than I was expecting it to be. Now we get our first look at their what they're calling their quad camera light capture system. And now we look at the screen on the back here, where you're gonna be doing most of your interacting with this system because there's only two buttons. There's a play button on the top and a power button on the side. And the rest of it is gonna happen through the screen, which flips up so that you can do some selfie mode uh, head scans if you want to. But I think most of the time it'll be flipped down and you'll be scanning objects that are in front of you. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you'd like to see scanned with this scanner. I picked it up because I liked the ability to do some near and far scans in the same system. But we'll find out how well it does at both of those tasks. And in the second box, all we have is the calibration boards for the long range scanning. So it's a set of four of these boards with the same pattern on each one. So let me know what you think and what you'd like to see scanned in the comments below. 
I have a ton of ideas for custom insoles, custom shoes, custom helmets, all sorts of stuff. Um, so let me know what you'd like to see the most, and I'll see you in the next one.